five minute call. Hey, what's up you guys? This is your five minute call with Cecily Stovall. Today we have on the line Telly Leung and his top five are as follows. Number one, he is originally from Brooklyn, New York. Number two, he went to Carnegie Mellon for college. Number three, he has done many, many, many Broadway shows, including Flower Drum Song, Pacific Overtures, Wicked, and he was the first Bach in Chicago. He has also been seen in the closing company of Rent on Broadway, Godspell, and number four, he is going to be in Allegiance this fall, so make sure you check that out at the Long Acre Theater. And number five, if you're going to send him a gift backstage, make sure it's not a cat because he's allergic. <laughs> Welcome, Telly. How's it going? I'm really good. How are you? Good, good. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, we'll jump right in. Question one for you is tell me a little bit about your journey from high school to college to where you are now. Sure. Um, I was born, uh, in, born and raised in Brooklyn, and um, I was born and raised from immigrant Chinese parents who actually, you know, they, my mom came to this country with $200, didn't know how to speak very much English, and my dad actually worked in the restaurant business. They're, they're very blue-collar immigrant parents, and um, act, starving actor was like the last thing they wanted me to be. Um, they, they wanted me to get good grades, so I went to a math and science high school in New York City called Stuyvesant, and then um, I applied to half liberal arts colleges, and the other half were performing arts schools. And it just so happened that Carnegie Mellon was the performing arts school that gave me the biggest scholarship. Thank you, Carnegie Mellon. So, um, so I got to go uh, to Carnegie Mellon for school, um, and it was kind of um, it was in some ways fate. So I think that's that's kind of how I entered this business. Question two for you is: When did you decide that this was the career for you, or this is what you wanted to do? Um, for me, it was 16 years old, growing up in New York City, and seeing the original company of Rent. You know, before that, I had seen other Broadway shows. I saw Cats, but everybody was a cat, and you can't really tell who they are underneath all that makeup. And I had seen other other big, you know, Broadway shows like Crazy for You and stuff like that. But there was always one person of color on stage. You know what I mean? Or maybe two. And then I saw Rent, and it was like every race and color under the sun. And it was every it was men, women, everything in between, gay, straight, black, white, brown, Asian. It was awesome, and I could see myself doing it finally, on a Broadway stage. So it was really 16 seeing Rent for the very first time. And tell me, what was the most memorable moment you've had, either on stage or off stage, throughout your career? Um, well, speaking of Rent, I really think it was the final closing night of Rent, you know, and doing that show. And we actually shot that show, and you can watch it on Rent Filmed Live on Broadway. You can watch the DVD of our final performance on Broadway. But um, our entire balcony was filled with 13 years' worth of alumni in that show. And I don't know, that show ran for 14 years on Broadway, but there's such an incredible lineage of people. I, I, you know, I, I performed with several of the original cast members, but, um, but, uh, but some of them I did not, but we're all part of the one big, crazy, insane family. I'm sure, I'm sure that'll happen one day, too, with Mormon, you know, that, like, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, like, uh, you're connected through, through this project that you've all done together. And it's definitely like that. It was a family. And I, I remember, like... Jesse Martin coming backstage. I've never met Jesse Martin my entire life. I've only watched him in Law and Order, but he came backstage and gave everybody he didn't know a bottle of champagne. How cool is that? Like, just because you're part of the family, you know? And I, I thought that was super classy. Now, question four for you comes from our Twitter audiences. And we got many, many, many questions for you, but the one we'll ask is, if you could arm wrestle anyone on Broadway, who would it be and who would win? Oh, Patti LuPone. I would definitely want to arm wrestle <laughs> Patti LuPone. And I think Patti would win. I think she would absolutely win. I'm sure if you had a cell phone in your hand. Oh, <laughs> right. yes, she definitely. If I had a cell phone, she would arm wrestle me. She would face wrestle me. All of it. I know it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the last question for you is, if you could give your 16-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? Um, I think because I came from such an academic in environment, you know, growing up and being, being the kid that was always good at school and always wanting the right answers, I think... When I first started studying acting at Carnegie Mellon, I was afraid to make mistakes. So, and I learned that with being an artist, the only way you learn is to make mistakes and to fall on your face and then get back up again. So my biggest advice to my 16-year-old self would be don't be scared of the mistakes because that's how you're going to learn. So don't be afraid to fail. And if you're going to fail, fail big because you'll learn big. That's great advice. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Tally. I know that yeah. you have shows coming up, so you guys are about to jump into rehearsals. And when do you guys open? We open on uh, in November this year at the Long Acre Theater. So you can come and see us uh, in previews October 6th or uh, after we open November 8th.
Well, we will be there. Do not miss this show, Allegiance on Broadway, The Long Anchor. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a yeah. great day. Bye, guys. Did we get it in under five minutes?